Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to simulate the transient simulation for an RL circuit. This is one of the problems from a ninth edition book. Actually, an eighth edition is the same. It's a book by Haight and Kimberly, uh, Engineering Circuit Analysis. So that's the book, and we have taken this problem from that book. It says that we have to simulate this circuit uh, and find out the voltage across the resistor 40 ohm at time 200 milliseconds. <clears throat> and as the answer says, that should be around minus 12.99 volts by that time. So the circuit itself says that there's a 24 volt battery connected to the circuit all well before T is equal to zero. So all through, through the time, the, the voltage source is connected to the circuit, but right at the time T is equal to zero seconds, the, circuit, the, the switch just opens and the circuit disconnects. Uh, and then for the next 200 milliseconds, we'll have to observe if the voltage across the resistor reaches 12.99 volts. <clears throat> so for this circuit, we need to, we need to simulate an LT spice and we'll have to bring in a switch, a switch and then we'll have to configure that switch in such a way that it has a, uh, it has a value, a connected value. So, I mean, it's, the, the switch is closed throughout, but at the time t is equal to zero seconds, it just opens. For me, the time reference here uh, is one second. So I'm taking uh, one second as the time zero when my interest starts. So my circuit uh, interest starts at time is equal to one second instead of zero. So before one second, the switch is closed right at time one second. Uh, the switch opens and I will look at the simulation. So in that case, we are actually looking at 1.2 seconds. So the voltage, what happens with the voltage across the resistance at 1.2 volts. Let's simulate that circuit. So we have two resistors, I'll bring 40 ohm and the one 40 ohm and an inductor. So we have these two resistors and a voltage source here. And just let me widen this circuit. Okay. Now I'll have uh, one switch, so I'll bring in F2. I'll see switch, this is a voltage control switch that I'll bring in. Rotate, rotate, I'll rotate it to bring it here. And I need another voltage source because that voltage source will then be used to activate this switch. So this is a voltage control switch. So I, of course I will need something to activate this switch. So that is a voltage source that we are talking about. Here, I'll bring a ground here and another ground here. F3. I'll just take F7. This is just to give it a, a, a little bit good look so that things become a little bit easier to understand. I'm going to name this switch as uh, my switch. And I'll place it just here. And let's see, R1 is 40 ohm. R1 is 40. R2 is 10. And this inductor is 5 Henry. This voltage is 24 volts. And for this switch, using S or SPICE directive from here, 
I have to define the switch model. So I'll hit S. Uh, it will be defined as dot model, the name of the switch, which is my switch. The designator is SW, and I'll say resistance of the switch when it is on is 0 0.001. Sorry, so it's dot model my switch as w r on is equal to 0 0.001. I'll just place it over here. Now, looking at the condition, so the condition was that the time when the when the time is t is equal to zero my switch has to open so i have to configure my voltage source such as so i'll go advanced into the piecewise linear and i said time one i'm saying i'm not starting from time zero i'm saying time one so time one is new zero so at time one the value is five volts that's the value of the voltage source but right at the next moment 1.001 .001, the voltage value becomes zero since there's a voltage uh, control switch so value uh, when when the value of the voltage source is five volt which is starting from zero time to uh, one second the switch is closed it's a it's a closed switch but at the very next moment the value of the voltage becomes zero and thus the switch opens and this is where the time will start we'll have to look at the uh, voltage at 200 milliseconds we'll say okay and we have this value here just one thing very important before running these simulations transient simulations you have to click on the control panel once you're in control panel please increase the relative tolerance uh, in the compression ratio uh, area that's uh, to just add a couple of zeros here then you go to the spice this is more important and actually this is fundamental to the simulation in, uh, when you choose spice go to the solver and choose alternate don't use normal or you won't get the simulation you have to choose alternate and relative tolerance should be increased by another four or five zeros just to get accurate answers i'll say okay that's it <clears throat> i'll run the simulation uh, i'll say stop my simulation at two seconds because it started one second somehow all right uh, okay so i'll just uh simulation has been started i'll look at the so the, we have to look at the voltage across 40 ohm resistors here so this is the voltage across 40 ohm resistor and the condition that i mean we are looking at that 200 milliseconds and we're expecting as minus 12.99 volts so let's look at 200 milliseconds for this i'll just uh this is two milliseconds actually 200 milliseconds so i'll just look at this i'll bring in the cursor here start moving cursors to 1.2 seconds which is nearly this one as you see okay e there something like okay that's 1.2 seconds which is uh, 200 milliseconds and this is 1.2 seconds here because my simulation started at one and as I configured here that my uh, is voltage uh, my time is equal to zero is actually one second that's why I'm looking at 200 milliseconds which is 1.2 seconds and the value is minus 12.97 9.12.98 which is actually correct one so please make sure that you configure your simulation from the control panel and spice choose the better relative tolerance and choose alternate as a solver before doing that simulation that's how you will simulate this circuit we, there's another circuit quite similar to it we can also look at it very quickly <clears throat> this one is done i'll just close it with a cursor i'll open a new so we have two R and one inductor. So we have one resistor, one resistor, uh, one inductor here. Okay. And then we have current source. 
so we have one current source and then we have switch so my switch is somewhere here yes actually in the middle and the voltage source that will control that switch is here so i'll start with f3 sorry excuse me i'm i have flu today that's why you're listening to those sounds of me being try to get rid of whatever okay here is okay that's the voltage source i'll bring in the ground and i'll bring the ground here just as i did last time i'll just make it look a little bit okay so current is 10 sorry it's 10 milliamps and inductor is 0 0.1 henry 0 0.1 resistors are 60 and 40 so we have 60 and we have 40 time is equal to zero the switch opens at time is equal to zero so i'll say okay piece was linear at time one my value is five volts and at time 1.00001 my value becomes zero volts. I'll put it here. And then spice directive dot model. Okay, cancel. Let me name it as switch to. Okay. <clears throat> S dot model switch to SWR on is equal to 0 0.001 okay here's the model uh, okay so what, what we are looking so we, ha we have to find the uh, the the value of current through resistor 60 ohm at time 0 minus 0 plus at infinite time and at 1.5 milliseconds let's simulate for two seconds okay so current through resistance r so first of all this is the infinite time when the when the current has settled and has reached a steady steady state so i'll just click somewhere here uh, to know the value so the value at any time is 4 milliamps which is c c is 4 milliamps so at any infinite time when the current has settled it's 4 milliamps which is correct Similarly, at time zero minus and zero plus. So zero minus and zero plus will have to look in this region. Okay, so here is my zero minus. So when time is zero minus less than, okay, here, this one. It's in nanoamperes, 166.65 nanoamperes, whatever. And when it is zero plus, when like it's just this one, the time has shoot shoot up to 9.9986 milliamps, which is 10 milliamps. So we have a zero minus was zero milliamp. Uh, the system was showing around nanoamperes, and it is at 10 milliamps, a zero plus, which is 9.99 .9 milliamps. Finally, we have to look for uh, 1.5 milliseconds, and we are expecting 5.3 milliamps at 1.5 milliseconds. Let's see what. Uh, let me just focus on this area only. Okay. And let's set the tick. So I'll set the tick to 0 0.5 milliseconds. And I will start from one second. So my left of the, uh, of the plot starts at one second. And these ticks are at 0.5 milliseconds each. Based on that, we are looking at 1.5 milliseconds. I'll bring in the cursor. Where is the cursor? Here's the cursor. 
So this is 0 0.5, 10, and 0.1. Sorry. So the window is too big. So I don't want to go for 1.1 seconds. Instead of that, I'll go 1.002 seconds. Yeah, that's much better. So now the ticks are around 500 microseconds, which is 0.5 milliseconds. So we have 0.51 milliseconds, 1.5 milliseconds. So this is where we have to look. So at 1.5 milliseconds, you see it's 5.34 milliamps, which is 5.34 milliamp at 1.5 milliseconds. So that's all about the uh, two circuits. That's how you simulate RL circuits. If it is a capacitor here, and we are about, we would like to find a voltage or current across any component for the for these times after the switch has turned off. Uh, then we can use this kind of simulation technique and this kind of switching technique to simulate our circuit. I hope this was a helpful video. Thank you.